Hello fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Who's about to ask you out? We're going to see who is the person romantically interested in you, wanting to ask you out, wanting something romantic, wanting to hook up, get to know you. Um, so we'll see who this person is and how and when they're going to ask you out. So before I jump into this reading, um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, you can sign up to become a channel member and you will get access to member-only content on the channel. Otherwise, um, for private readings, please email me and I can send through booking details. Otherwise, let's get into this fire signs and see who is about to ask you out. How exciting. Okay. Okay, so far we've got an Aries. This could be a potential Aries wanting to ask you out and connect with you. Okay, they're wanting more though. I'm sending this is I'm sensing this is someone quite serious. They're wanting more from you. I'm getting marriage, kids, settling down. They're at a point in their life where they want these things. Okay, so it could be someone that's really family orientated or you know through your family. Like um, for example, you might have grown up together. You might share kids. This could be an ex. Um, I do feel like it is someone you've had a history with or you've walked away from before. I get that there may have been a relationship between the both of you at one stage. And um, especially if you have kids with this person, this they, they want to reconnect. Um, they want romance with you. They want to see if there's a spark still there. I still feel like there is a spark. So fire signs, I feel like you're definitely, you know, on the mind of this person. So... Okay, they could work with children or families like housing, real estate, um, welfare, counseling, um, could be working with family assets as well. They could work with kids like teaching or child minding, babysitting. There's children and family that's around them um, or they, they have a big family. They come from a traditional family. They want these things. You know, they're surrounded by a lot of loved ones. So it could be someone coming from a large family is what I'm getting, but could also be someone who has a child already maybe not with you maybe with um uh, someone else so there there could be some kids in the picture here or this person has kids and they're wanting romance i feel like they may have been single for quite some time with the fool they're sort of this in this energy where they sort of date around but they haven't found anything yet um i feel like with the full card they could be someone who is younger though it's almost like this naive kind of energy to this person so they could be very free-spirited, quite chilled, quite laid back. I don't get that they're super anxious. It's more about like they just go with the flow of things. So this is a pretty easygoing person. It can be someone who's foreign, like they're not from your city, they're not from your country. Like it could be someone who's uh, an expat, for example, or they are from a different state or county. It's sort of like um, it could even be someone you've sort of connected or met with uh, on travels or like a bit of a day trip or something. But I get a sense that they, they're on the move a lot. They drive around for work, you know, maybe they're a lorry driver or they are imports, exports, they're a flight attendant. They deliver mail, like they deliver post, you know, UPS driver. Like I feel like it's someone who's constantly on the road or constantly on the move. Okay, um, I get a sense that this person... You don't know them in a romantic aspect. Some of you may have history, like with the five. When I see this five of swords, I feel like you've walked away from them before. So it can be someone you've actually rejected. Now that makes sense. If you rejected them and they're coming up as the fool, this is someone who's felt like they've embarrassed themselves in front of you or they've felt rejected or hurt by you before he fire signs. Maybe more so Aries, but it's definitely a sense where page of swords, they've got some regret. Um, or it's like, it's a bit of a missed opportunity. This person had a chance with you and they didn't, they didn't take it when they had it. And now all of a sudden they're living with this huge regret. Like they're thinking over things going, man, I should have, should have asked them out, should have done this, should have, you know, caught them when you were single. So like there is maybe some regret coming in uh, from this person at least. But I feel like, um, this person is full of surprises. I do get someone younger, so I feel like there may be a bit of an age gap. Now, it can be someone who you've been caught up with in a love triangle here before. So I feel like at some point there may have been an option for you. Um, I do feel for some of you it is someone new, um, but it's someone that's been badly hurt in a relationship before. So they're going to be cautious. They're going to take their time. They've spent a lot of time with family, um, but they want these things for themselves. So I feel like it is someone who's sort of 
been a serial dater. They've been around a blog. You know, they've gotten around this person. They've been, I think they might have been hooking up, but they haven't found anything like long lasting. And I think they are coming up to a point where they are wanting more something more serious. So I don't feel like it's in a sense for a hookup more. I feel like it's it's the real deal with this person. Like they're ready. Uh, definitely with the, what the cards are telling me, I feel like they're ready. Um, they're ready to have that with you. So yeah, I feel like um, they're quite adventurous. So I, I feel like it's going to be quite an adventurous first date. Um, but we'll have a look and see uh, what are we looking at. We're looking at how and when they'll ask you out. Okay, how and when will this person ask you out? Okay, sun cards come up a couple times. Ace of chalices. The emperor, okay, Aries energy. The devil, Capricorn. Okay, they're going to be very forward with you. This person definitely wants to sleep with you. They've got sexual fantasies around. You've got the hermit, so a Virgo maybe coming through. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, this person might ask you out like on a booty call or like you might be hooking up with them and they'll say, you know what, let's go out. Let's try this for real. Um, I do feel like with the emperor, the hermit and the devil, I, I wonder if some of you are sort of going to be out. You could even be like drunk or under the substance of something or like I see you having a good time and this person like is like reaches out to you and says, hey, you know, let's make let's let's make this happen here. Um, so I feel like for some of you, we've got the moon and the sun. So I feel like they may ask you out a couple times during the day and then like reconfirm it in the evening or in the nighttime, maybe because they're anxious. Okay. So it's like, let's book this in. And then in the evening, they'll just want to confirm be like, are you sure you're free? Like, I feel like there's some, something they have to, uh, reconfirm with you. Uh, okay. So I feel like it's double. And to be honest, I think, I think they're going to do it in person. I see someone asking you out for some, it may be like an online or a call or a message, but I think for a lot of you, it's a physical face to face asking out, especially if you see this person, like at the gym, at work, they go to your shopping center, you're bumping into them. I feel like it's a physical face to face invitation, uh, for you guys to go out. So, Hmm. This is what they want. They definitely want you. Okay, they definitely want you. So I feel like with the Hermit uh, and the Ace of Cups, I'm getting a vibe that they're going to ask you to a very secretive place or an exclusive place. So it could be like an exclusive bar, could be a members only club. It could be somewhere like a, an, a picnic in the evening that's in a secluded or remote area. Don't get kidnapped. Um, but I feel like it's it's something like secretive and not everyone is aware of. Like maybe they know a place where you can drive that's like secluded or they know a good picnic spot where like not many people know about uh, or it's something that's hard to gain access to so i feel like it's quite a secluded and quiet space they want to invite you to because they, they want to get to know you so they want they want to talk i do feel like the hermit they want to talk i feel like it could even be like a day date but it ends up going late into the night because that's how well you guys are going to get on you're just going to click uh so you're going to have great banter You'll be joking and laughing. You might even get into a little bit of trouble with the Knight of Wands. I reckon some of you might even like you're driving around and then you get randomly pulled over by the cops or um, you get a flat tire or, you know, you might run into a bit of trouble, a bit of strife. Nothing too, nothing too bad. Um, but it can indicate, you know, make sure you stay protected because it, it could come up here. But I feel like it's, yeah, um, it could even be a date that lasts a couple days. Like when they ask you, it could be like, you know, you see each other during the day, you end up spending the night together, the next morning you have breakfast or you do a day thing. Like, I feel like it could span over like multiple days for some reason. So obviously you guys are going to be happy about that. Going out so much and spending that much time together. You just, I think you're just going to go with the flow of things, but I think it'll work out between the both of you. But like I said, I feel like it is, it is a 
invitation here and I feel like this person will want to look after you like they could pay the bill they'll open up the car door they'll do something to show you that they want to be the provider in the relationship so regardless of how they present themselves it's someone who wants to take care of you they'll like step into this caretaking energy so they'll do this to sort of show you off um I feel but it could be like a park. It could be like a picnic. I'm, I'm feeling like it may be outdoors. It could be like a hike. Uh, but like I keep getting there's lots of privacy. So for some reason this person wants privacy. Or maybe, you know, they're like, they're outdoorsy and they feel most comfortable outside with nature and they want to sort of show you that stuff. But I feel like they want somewhere quiet where you can connect and, and, and talk and get to know each other. And I think there's definitely going to be a lot of talking. I feel like mentally you will have a lot in common and this person is going to be like really intelligent really bright especially for those sapiosexuals out there you're really gonna um really gonna be crazy about how smart they are how their face lights up when they talk about certain things how passionate they are for certain causes or certain movements so i think that is really going to trigger you in a positive way um, I don't really feel like you, there's, there's any arguments or anything coming up between the two of you. I do feel like for some of you, it may be with that devil. It could be that you end up sleeping with them. So I get that it could be like a one night stand kind of thing, but I don't get a sense that that's all they're after because the Ace of Cups tells me they do want an emotional new chapter. They do want something more commitment, um, commitment minded. So they do want that intimacy and, and, you know, all those things that come with it. But at the same time, they do want a relationship they do want to care for someone and they want someone to care for them um so i'm gonna leave it at that fire signs thank you again everyone for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and sign up to the channel um if you did want to become a channel member you can do so via the join button on the home page of my channel otherwise i'm sure we'll speak very soon so thank you again everyone for all your support lots and lots of love and angel blessings and until next time bye for now